All right, so today we have a clip here of Charlie Kirk talking about uh, the Trump indictment and wanting to arrest uh, Democrats or something. And that's why I say, hey, for all the Democrats out there watching, when we start perp walking all your favorite Democrats, you're not allowed to complain. Okay, you're done. You've lost all rights to complain. If you indict Donald Trump, when we finally got our act together and we get attorneys general that are not a waste of rations, uh, and we start all of a sudden putting, you know, top level Democrats in handcuffs and we just start going in subpoenas, you guys are done. You have to take it. That's um, well, Charlie, a uh, couple of things there. One, Trump has not been arrested yet. Um, he's the only one who said he's going to be arrested. Apparently, there is reports coming out as I speak that are saying that uh, he is going to uh, be indicted tomorrow and then actually arraigned next week. I don't know if that's true or not, um, but uh, none of these right-wing grifters have yet to explain or tell me or just tell anybody what we are prosecuting uh democrats or liberals if you want to use that word for what did they do what crimes did they commit charlie sits there and says you you you, you democrats can't can't complain once we start uh, hitting y'all with subpoenas once we start arresting the democrats why are you arresting the democrats what did they do please tell me they talk about weaponization they talk about uh politically charged prosecution pretty sure you're a weaponizing uh, attorneys general and just the due process we have in this country you're literally saying you want to arrest democrats just because donald trump might be arrested look i'm gonna say this this is a message to any and all republicans that are watching charlie kirk any other right-wing grifter that may see this video it's not our fault that you guys put all your money behind one of the most corrupt motherfuckers that this country has ever seen. One of the, definitely one of the most corrupt presidents this country's ever seen. That's not our fault. That's your fault. It's Donald Trump's own actions that got him to this point. You guys can sit there and say it's politically charged. It's this and that. If we're not going to prosecute a former president of the United States for possible criminal activity that he may have very well done, then why the fuck are we going to, how are we going to, treat the man who held the highest office in the land at a we're gonna keep lower a lower standard no he should be held in my opinion to a higher standard okay you can't just arrest people for no reason donald trump actually fucking uh committed a crime he literally committed fraud i don't know why they keep they keep saying oh we're gonna arrest the democrats bitch for what what are you arresting the democrats for they want to say that, oh, they're just throwing their political opponents in jail. That's what they actually want to do, and they have no reason for it. They're sitting here complaining that something is happening, and that they just want to turn around and do what they're complaining about. This is how fucking stupid these people are. That's the new, the new America is who can put the most amount of political opponents in jail, I guess. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. That's 100% right. Charlie Kirk is not going to talk about any of the uh, times where this investigation literally almost didn't go through. He's not going to talk about how the two, two of the lead prosecutors on this case resigned because of Alvin Bragg's uh, irresponsibility in the case. Alvin Bragg was literally not going to take up the case. The two prosecutors leading the Manhattan District Attorney's investigation into former President Donald Trump and his business practices abruptly resign on Wednesday. This article is from last year. Amid a month-long pause in their presentation of evidence to a grand jury, according to people with knowledge of the matter. Guys, if you go and research this, Alvin Bragg, the district attorney who is prosecuting Trump in the Manhattan District of New York right now, he almost did not do this. He almost said, I didn't have enough evidence. They're not even talking about that. They're not talking about how uh, it's been a struggle for this district attorney, this uh, Manhattan district uh, attorney to even get to this point. It's been a struggle. They act like he woke up one day and said, I'm just going to I'm just going to throw Trump in jail because I don't like him. That didn't happen. You have to look at everything. They say facts don't care about your feelings. Why are they not talking about these facts? I know why. Because it would make his entire fucking argument fall apart. It doesn't make sense. Talk about why they almost didn't do the fucking case. Talk about that. That's the new contest, right? Yeah, that's yeah. the new contest. How many political opponents can we throw in jail? And then, again, Charlie Kirk was the one who started... That whole, that whole fucking uh, little spiel he went on about 
arresting Democrats for no reason, but then he says, the new America is throwing your political opponents in jail. It's like, dude, you're the one who wants to do that. No one said that shit except for you. I mean, that's I mean, that's how republics fail. But Democrats are, are yeah. at we republics fail because uh, they guys, countries, republics, democratic republics like us. We're not supposed to prosecute criminals. We're not supposed to, uh, you know, that due process and that the land of law and order and all this shit. The conservative likes to say all of a sudden, you know, that's all out the window. What happened? What happened to, uh, you know, uh, if you're a criminal, you get prosecuted and thrown in jail. That's what the conservatives love to say. What happened? Law and order, due process, right? What the fuck's going on? Look, the only the D Democrats only respect power, right? And if mm -hmm. you show weakness, they're going to run all over you. This is what happened during the, the Kavanaugh confirmation. You have to punch back. You have to win. They only what respect— What the fuck is he talking about? This is what happened during the Kavanaugh— uh, uh, Brett Kavanaugh thing. What 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 are you talking about? What what happened there? What what is it? Were they trying to throw him in jail? Did he c commit fraud? Like I know the stuff about that uh that woman that came forward with these allegations, but I mean what what does he mean? Power and Rep Republicans are so weak that they're not willing to fight. Particularly Southern Republicans are the weakest of the weak. Southern white male Republican politicians are the weakest human beings yes. on the planet. It <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't know. I mean, I, I do agree that uh, white male Republicans are the weakest group of people on this planet. I do believe that. Um, and not specifically Southern white male Republicans, but I do believe that uh, white Republicans are the weakest, uh, most pathetic group that exists in this entire nation and also probably the world. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Maybe that was a shot at DeSantis or, you know, some of the other Republican politicians that, you know, I guess they're mad that they're just not super outspoken and being like, you shouldn't be indicting a former president. Maybe, maybe. This is me giving a lot of people, a lot of Republican politicians right now, a huge benefit of the doubt. Maybe. And I don't have enough faith in them to actually believe this, really, but I'm just going to throw it out there. Maybe some of these Republicans that aren't saying anything or fighting back have enough sense to know that Donald Trump has committed crimes, potential crimes, and they're not going to come out and say that we shouldn't be indicting a former president who committed crimes because he really fucking committed crimes. And they're smart enough to know that, you know, it doesn't matter who it is, we're still going to prosecute criminal activity. Maybe. I don't know. And so we, what we need to do is fight back. Let's let's look at down in Georgia. If this and it's just like it, it, and my my thing about this is they sit there and they say, Hunter, 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 prosecute Hunter. Look at Hunter Biden. Look at the Biden family dealings. Hunter, Ukraine, Hunter, Burisma, Hunter, 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 prosecute Hunter, prosecute Hunter. Look, I and I said this yesterday. If Hunter Biden has done something that is uh, criminal. He should be prosecuted for that. I 100% think that. The other end of that is if Donald Trump, I don't fucking care if he was the president or not. I don't care who it was. I It could be fucking whoever. It, like, it doesn't matter. If he did something illegal, he needs to be prosecuted for it. End of fucking story. There's no other. There's th That's the end of the conversation right there. Okay? There's, you know, you can sit there and say, oh, you know, are you going to throw the, the, the presidential nominee in jail? Number one. Number one, the chances of him being thrown in jail for this are like astronomically zero, like astronomically slim to none. Okay, he's not. They act like he's just gonna. They're gonna throw his ass in a prison cell, and no one's ever gonna see him again. That's not gonna happen. Okay, if they really think that, they're fucking dumb. I mean, they are, but county DA is gonna go after Trump. Maybe the Georgia legislature. Maybe the Georgia. Uh, governor, maybe they should take away the power from these local DAs and just... Yeah, well, Brian For doing their jobs? See, like, this is the thing. They don't want to talk about him. They don't want to talk about Alvin Bragg almost not heading up this case and almost not even doing any of this because Alvin Bragg thought that they didn't have enough evidence when two other prosecutors said that there is tangible proof that he committed f felony crimes. You know, he says take the power away for doing their jobs. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. His name is Mike Davis from Article 3 Project. Never heard of this guy, but, uh, you know, 
everything he said so far tells me everything I need to know about him. And Kemp is not going to do that because I think Brian Kemp is enthusiastically cheering for the indictment of Donald Trump. He is not a friend of Donald Trump at all. Um, and same with Roffensperger and all the people that are helping in that indictment. And isn't that interesting, though, Mike? How many Republicans are quietly assisting this push to criminally indict Donald Trump? I wonder. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, you guys are part of the conservative movement. You guys are part of the Republican Party. You tell me. Why? I mean— I would, yeah, I would love to know who, which Republicans are, uh, you know, again, like I said earlier, which Republicans have enough sense to know that, uh, you know, they just need to let what's going to happen happen. And if Donald Trump committed criminal activity, then he should be prosecuted for that. I would love to know their names because uh, at least, you know, them, uh, the ones that Dr. Charlie Kirk and uh, whatever most generic name in the whole world, Mike Davis said, um, it is what it is. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, I just, I, it's Charlie Kirk. I, I've covered him a lot and, you know, it's just, it's not surprising to me that he's saying this really wild shit. It's just the, the hypocrisy, the, the very tangible, completely, you cannot watch without noticing hypocrisy in these people's, everything that they do say and do really uh but that's gonna be it for the video if you guys like the video please hit the like button it helps me out so so much uh hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this hit that little bell and turn on all notifications so you never miss an upload and guys uh please feel free to comment down below i read each and every single comment i love reading all of the comments that you guys leave me, I read every single one. I know I'm not super great at responding uh, like I used to. I really am trying to be better about that. Um, but uh, please, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you think of Charlie Kirk and uh, Mikey Davis over here. Peace.